This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 5. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. Okay? First and foremost, I want to give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rachakudash. Okay, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the millstone. And peace and mercy unto you, brothers, that are doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, in sincerity and in truth. Revelation chapter 2, verse 5. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. Okay? When we come into this truth, we understand that our duty, our job, is to serve Yahweh Bashim Shai, and as a vessel of the Lord, okay, our commandment is to go out there in the house and the byways and to do the works of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai, to call in the elect 144,000 and the one third, okay. And if we fall away from those things, then the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai has a special judgment, okay. So it says, or else I will come unto thee quickly. That's right, man. Because you have some people, okay, who have lost patience. And then they fall back into the trap of the world. They get mixed within the world, okay? They go back to doing the things that they were doing in the world, okay? And then the Lord would say, he said, I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick, which represents, okay, when you first came into the truth, you had that fire, that lamp, okay? Once the Lord takes away that candlestick, takes away that spirit from you, then you just become like a regular individual out there, but even worse, because you had known the way of truth at first, okay? This is in the book, okay, of Sirach in Apocrypha, chapter 1, verse 14. He says, woe, the word woe means destruction. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Okay? Destruction unto you that have lost patience, man. That's why it says, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works. Because you don't want to lose patience. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlesticks out of his place except thou repent okay you understand that every single brother in this truth has a different spirit okay and not everyone has the same lot okay you might you know um go on the wrong direction for a moment or two but you have to repent and come back and know what your duty what your job is in this truth man okay and so the key word here is repent if you repent these things are not going to happen unto you okay we are still in the flesh we will go off here and there okay but you have to examine yourself and come back okay to your natural okay normal ways which is to serve the lord jahab verse six but this thou hast that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, okay? The Colossians, which I also hate, verse 7. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of Yahawabashim Yahushai. So you have to understand that all these things that we're going through right now, there is a greater reward. There is a greater reward and you must continue to push and to keep doing this work. Otherwise, the Lord Yahabba Shemashai will remove your candlesticks, man. Okay, this is in the book of Sirach. Okay, chapter 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord shall fight for thee. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. These scriptures is what, okay, you need to every single day occupy yourselves in, man. Okay, because this is what's going to keep you pushing. Okay, one more time. So, Rosh chapter 4, 
Verse 28, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Okay, with that, shalom.